Hey everyone, it's Coach Johnson, and in this quick tip video, what we want to discuss is uh, proper sweep leg mechanics in rotational throws. So discus and shot put, there is a slight difference between the two, but the core thing to understand is what we want to not teach, and if you see anybody teaching the following, you need to politely stage a throws coaching intervention. It's completely incorrect, and what it's going to do is going to take athletes with better potential and it's going to create a, a limitation or a fundamental flaw that's going to be difficult to break. Now, what are we referring to? We're referring to the wind and the come up and kick into the circle throw technique. And this is going to be bad for a number of reasons, but one, if you look at any elite thrower, um, they learn the wide right leg sweep. This isn't a technique that you start with and then later on you change and try to make more dynamic. If you have athletes and you're trying to get them across the circle, this is one of the arguments that you're supposed to teach them how to be able to get across the circle. Well, we're not jumping across the circle. We're trying to create speed, rotational speed into the center of the circle. And there's a number of biomechanical things that are occurring to really learn that. So drills and, and understanding the proper positions. And at Arite, we teach the throwing chain reaction system where we break the throw into six pillars to help you work on these very specific things but we want to make sure that you're understanding the structure. So one, if you're seeing or teaching this type of emotion, you can notice how that is going to technically be a much slower movement. So if I wind up and I get this kind of thing, this is too much up, down, and hopping. Is there an up, down, and throw? Absolutely, but it has to be as minimal as possible because we're trying to get on the ground, the most time on ground contact, translates to the biggest throw. Okay, so here's the proper way. What you're gonna see at every elite, elite level thrower is the wide right. And you'll notice when I get this wide right, we want always the knees as far apart as possible. Right, so if I, if I demo again and I'm moving and I'm here, you're gonna see me kind of rotate in. Now watch, if I do it in slow, you see it's slow, wide right allows me to rotate, right? So if I show you again, if I go, I come around slowly and I want to see myself wide right. See how it's very easy to rotate my leg. If I set the same position and I, there's no rotation. The concept is you don't go straight with the lower body. The lower body, everything is moving in a linear line, but there's this combination of angular and linear force. And this is a bigger concept. However, the key thing you want to understand is wide knees, keep the throw rotating easy. Narrow knees, right, segmented. Now I'm in a former, uh, very experienced thrower. I've been a coach, I demonstrate all the time. So I can do this and still create some rotation. But you notice my foot stops there. Notice when I keep the knees apart, how uh, my foot is gonna rotate so much quicker into the direction of the throw. This penduluming type thing is gonna cause a lot of sector fouls because what it's doing is limiting speed, rotational movement into the power position. Really, really critical. So, real simple. If we're in the shot, same thing. Wide, I gotta keep it moving. If I'm trying to go, you're gonna see how I kinda stop about right here. That's gonna make it difficult to get my hips into the throw. And when the hips are over here, this is when I'm resulting in sector fouls or throws down the left sector line, and losing a lot of speed through the finish to create whip in the discus and a bigger strike in the shot, here's gonna create a jump. And one of the things we firmly believe in when you're looking at the physics is you don't wanna jump, you wanna maintain ground contact as long as possible. We'll save that for another quick tip. So here's the summary of all. Make sure that if you're being taught or you're a coach teaching throwing, the knees must stay apart. Wide knees creates the rotation into the throw. Narrow knees and this driving kick teaches that hitchy, slower movement. And the biggest thing is, is that the longer a young thrower does that, the worse their fundamental development is and the harder it is to break that pattern later on when they're trying to throw far. And if there's an argument that certain throwers have thrown well, doing that, again, I would say look at every world-class thrower, look at the position of the knees, 
and then understand that the goal is to teach young throwers the same principles and mechanics that are going to lead them to the ultimate technique. There is no, there is, that is a false assumption to teach one technique and then teach another. And truthfully, the first thing with the narrow knees is working against the physics. Therefore, it is inefficient and you don't want to do it. So if you have any questions, maintain wide knees. Okay, thanks so much. Check out uh, airtaythrowsnation.com for free videos for uh, introduction to throwing chain reaction, teach you the six pillars of the throw to help you better organize your practices and training for better results. Take care, check out our channel, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you soon.